everyone, my name is Jillian and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing my thoughts on this Ember mug that keeps your coffee or tea warm. I'll share the pros and the cons to help anyone who's on the fence about getting one. And if you've never heard of this, it will just be a great starting point to learn about this mug that is pretty amazing. If you're new to my channel, tap that subscribe button down below and make sure to like this video if you found it helpful so I know to make more product reviews like this. Let's get started. If this is your first time hearing about the Ember coffee mug, it's a rechargeable Bluetooth enabled mug that allows you to set the perfect temperature for your coffee. Now it's so customizable through an app where you can set the exact temperature that you'd like, or you can choose from different preset temperatures for different beverages of your choice. They have settings for different types of tea, lattes, even timers for tea drinkers so you can steep your tea and know exactly when it's ready. There are lots of different options for the Ember mug. You have multiple colors and sizes. You also have a couple travel coffee mug options. You may be thinking this is a little bit extra. That's uh, definitely what I thought when I first heard about the Ember mug. Several people in my family also have this mug. My mom, my dad, my brother, and we are all obsessed with it. I'm actually drinking some tea right now as I am filming this video. If you happen to have multiple people in your house with Ember mugs, a nice feature is the ability to customize the light that displays on the front of the mug to whatever color you want so you don't get mixed up. I also really love the Ember mug for whenever I make homemade lattes. You know, they have the tendency to cool down pretty quickly and so I make them in the Ember mug and it keeps them nice and hot and makes for a better drinking experience. This mug really does keep your drink hot until the very last sip. Now, as amazing as this mug is, it does have some downsides. So let's get into those. First, since this is a rechargeable mug, you are not able to put this in the dishwasher. Now, I'm someone that does not usually buy anything if it is not dishwasher safe. And it is a testament to how amazing this mug is that I am actually motivated to hand wash this mug all of the time. Another downside is the battery life. It dies quicker than you would expect. The charge actually only lasts a few hours. So it's not something that you're gonna charge up at the beginning of the week, use all week, and then recharge. In my experience, you really do need to return the Ember mug to the charging station after each time you use it. It's not a big deal though because you can just leave the charging coaster out on your counter in your kitchen and just return it there after you use the mug. You really realize how much you rely on the Ember and how much it's transformed the way that you drink your coffee or tea when you realize that you forgot to charge your mug and you have to drink coffee out of a normal mug like everyone else. Something else to consider is the Ember mug sometimes will unpair with your Bluetooth or the app and you have to reconnect it. Um, you, if you forget and then you leave your coffee expecting it to be keeping it warm and you come back, it can kind of be disappointing Again, it's not a huge deal, um, but sometimes you have to reset the mug and there are some weird technical glitches that you have to deal with. The weight of the Ember mug could be a pro or a con depending on what you normally like as far as your mug goes. When I first got the mug, I actually thought it was so heavy that I didn't know if I wanted to drink out of it or if I could get used to it. Now, looking back, I feel like that was silly because Several months in, I've gotten used to it and it was fine. When you first get the mug, just keep in mind that it may take a little while to get used to the weight, but it's definitely worth it for the benefits of having your coffee stay warm longer. Now, if you want to get an Ember mug, I recommend choosing your color wisely. I have the white color and I really love how it goes with my decor, but the white got very easily stained. I just cleaned this mug, so it's a little bit wet at the bottom there. Even after scrubbing and cleaning the mug many times with both baking soda, peroxide type cleaners, uh, that's probably not advisable because you're you know, messing with the coating on the mug. Um, but anyway, I tried my best to clean it just to let you know that there was an effort made and it still looks like this. Now, a little bit of context. Uh, like I said, I'm not someone that likes to hand wash things. And so there have definitely been times where I left 
tea sitting in the mug um, for far too long and then went back and cleaned it out. So I wonder if the white mug would be fine if you were very dedicated to washing out the mug immediately after you drank your coffee or tea. If you think a stain on a white mug would bother you, just opt for the black or the copper color and you should be fine. There are also silver and gold metallic mugs if you like those color options. I'm sharing some of these downsides. Just so you can go into this investment of a purchase with eyes wide open. These start at $99, which seems extreme for a coffee mug. But if it's within your budget, I really do feel it's worth it because you drink your coffee or tea throughout the day, most days of your life. I love my Ember mug and honestly it would be difficult to go back to drinking my tea out of a regular mug at this point. If you're interested in checking out the different options from Ember, I'll put a link in the description box below. This is a new channel where I make videos about ways to elevate different areas of your life. And that includes product reviews like this one, DIY projects, home decor, and more. Thanks for watching and I hope your day is lovely. Cheers!